Hi, Mr. Simone here from Hamden Middle School. Uh, for today's video, I just want to show you how to uh, input an equation in slope-intercept form into the graphing calculator to create a line. Um, the first thing we can do is we can look at uh, just graphs specifically. So if you hit the graph button, you'll notice that you're given your coordinate plane. Um, each one of these little tick marks uh, is an increment of 1. Um, what is shown right now is in standard uh, form, so this basically says that our x-axis goes from negative 10 to positive 10, and at the same time our y-axis goes from negative 10 to positive 10. So making sure that the graph is in standard form is important. Um, it'll help when identifying how values are, are changing. Uh, if you go to Window, um, the Window button will show us that, yes, in fact, x min is negative 10, or x max is 10, and that scale, x scale, SCL, is kind of what the increments are going up by. And the y also does the same thing, so our y increments are the same. So that's something good to know just, um, you know, when working with the graphing calculator, that that's how it's set up. Um, if you wanted to, if you ever given a graphing calculator and things are, doesn't seem right, um, you can always press zoom and choose the 6 choice by pressing 6, or actually going down to 6, which is our standard. Um, and standard is, is, what's, is what's shown here. Alright, so let's move on. We're going to graph a line in slope-intercept form. We're going to press y equals at the top, and we're going to type in whatever uh, equation we want. Let's say, for example, we want y equals 2x plus 1. Um, we'll press 2 for the slope. For x, some mistake that students make is they'll press the multiplication sign for x, or one of these values over here because they see x. We're going to want to choose the xt omega n button as our x uh, variable. And then next thing we do is we just put the plus 1 for our y-intercept, and we have our, our line. Uh, this little sub 1 just is for naming purposes, so this is like our first point, our first uh, line that we create. And also, you can change these lines over here if you want um, to different things, but for now, we can just leave this as our first line. And all we do is we press graph and it will show what that line looks like. All right. If you wanted to get information, like more information about what the table of values looks like for this line, you can press the second button, and what that does is allow us to use the second function, so anything that's in yellow or orange will work for that. So you press second, you're going to end up with this little cursor in the corner that has like an arrow, and you can hit graph, which is actually the table function, and you can actually look at your, your values for, for y sub 1. So it gives you the y-intercept, and you can also identify that pattern of plus 2 every time your x-axis goes up by plus 1. And if you want, you can use the directionals and look at some negative values as well, um, which is sometimes helpful. Let's go back to y equals, and this time let's do a negative, uh, uh, a line with a negative slope. So let's say we do, I don't know, let's do negative 4, um, use that x again, that button and we'll do plus 3 and we'll hit graph. The second line goes through and if we want you can press second graph which is the table and for y sub 2 or that second line you can actually see that our y-intercept is in fact 3 and we can scroll up and scroll down uh, from, from more of those values to see that the slope is going down by 4. So I hope this helps um, some students ask me about, like, how do I represent a fraction? Let's say my, my slope is a fraction or a ratio in fraction form. Um, you just use the division symbol. I usually like to. You don't have to. But I prefer that um, you use the parentheses to, to plug in the uh, slope. So let's say, I don't know, the slope is like 1 half. I would use open parenthesis, 1 divided by 2, close parenthesis, your x uh, variable, and then, you know, plus or minus wherever the y-intercept is. All right. Um, that's just another thing that you could do for uh, if, you're, if your uh, slope is in fraction form. And again, if you graph it, you, you'll notice it. For this one, if you enter in a third table or a, th a third line, um, if you press second and then graph again, sometimes the y sub 3 won't show up. So you may have to just kind of use a directional and, and go over to the third, um, to that third line information. So I hope this helps. Um, best of luck. Keep watching, and uh, that's it.